Hello, and welcome to the video tour of the Chapman University School of Pharmacy at the Rinker Health Science Campus in beautiful Irvine, California. I'm Dr. Lawrence Brown, Associate Dean of Student Affairs here at Chapman, and on behalf of Dean Ron Jordan, the faculty, students, and staff, we welcome you to our campus and hope you'll enjoy our facilities as much as we do. The pharmacy school started here in fall of 2015, but we're not the only health profession program here. The Rinker campus also houses the physical therapy, physician assistant, and the communication science and disorders program, all part of Korean College. So here at Chapman, you'll have a wonderful interdisciplinary opportunity to work with students from many other health professions. Here we are in the lobby of the 9501 building in front of our benefactors, Diane and Harry Rinker, who provided a substantial donation to the university so that we could have these wonderful facilities. If you come this way, you can see some more of the building. This is our simulation suite. We have five different exam rooms which are made to model what you would see in a doctor's office. It allows our students to practice interacting with patients and with other healthcare professionals. One interesting thing to note, if you look up top, is that we have cameras and microphones. And when the students are here interacting with the simulated patients, the faculty are actually back behind here listening in and uh, watching what's going on and reviewing the patients. So we use these for what we call OSCEs that occur at the end of each trimester. The students have two scenarios that they have to review before coming in and addressing the patient. And so they're working on their communication skills, their patient history taking skills, and just how to communicate the uh, drug information to the patients. So it, by the time they graduate from this pharmacy program, they will have had 12 different opportunities to practice communicating with patients in an effective manner. And here we have our student union area. Uh, it's an area for rest and relaxation, a place for students to uh, talk with each other and to have lunch. You can see now we have students from the physical therapy program just relaxing between classes. And the next area is another simulation area, but for a totally different type of exercise. This is made to look more like an examination room, but in a ward type setting, so we can have multiple students uh, working with patients at the same time, although they're simulated patients. So what you can expect to see are mannequins there, either torso or full body mannequins. And if you look over here, we actually have a full body electronic mannequin. So this is one of the more advanced mannequins that actually has uh, EKG, it has breath sounds, it has pulse, it even has ports where the students can simulate injecting medications uh, in the case of a cold, uh, someone having a heart attack. So you can see we have very advanced technology here for the students to learn how to assess patients uh, and how to manage patients in a clinical setting. And what we also provide for students here at the Rinker Health Science Campus is a prayer and meditation room. We know that students have different needs of religious and secular beliefs, and so just having a space for them to come in prayer or even just meditate is a wonderful opportunity for students. And here we are on the second floor of the 9501 building. This is where most of the pharmacy classes take place. You'll see that we have some additional lounge areas for students to study or get together uh, and connect with each other. Shh, there's a class going on right now. But basically, this is our large classroom. Inside, you'll see uh, right now 76 of the second year pharmacy students that are in class. And it looks like right now they're working on a group assignment. You can see uh, in the classroom that uh, there's not only the LCD projector screen, but also TV screens for students in the back. Uh, the screens are all 3D enabled because some of the faculty actually show 3D videos of drug molecules and with use of 3D glasses, the molecule looks like it's right in front of their face. So another high-tech uh, addition to the Chapman School of Pharmacy. At the foundation of the School of Pharmacy program is science. And part of that science is compounding. So let's take a look at our compounding labs that we have here. This is one of two compounding labs that we have at the School of Pharmacy. Both of these compounding labs are what we call non-sterile compounding labs. One of the things that you'll immediately notice is that this does not look like your organic chemistry lab. And that's because here at Chapman School of Pharmacy, we're interested in training our students to really be active members of a team and to be heavily involved in working as a team. Here, we have these portable food hoods, which just lower over what you're working on, just turn it on, 
and it sucks the fumes right out. That way two students at each table can be working on their compounding at the same time. You also notice the inclusion of technology with the TV screens in the back as well as the smart screen down front. And we also have this wonderful addition of a drop down or heads down camera. So if you can imagine cooking shows that you've seen where they have the camera view from directly on top, uh, this allows the faculty member to actually demonstrate the compounding process that they're working on for that day on the TV screens and the smart monitor. And speaking of science, these are our research labs. The labs on this side are actual working labs with the faculty because we do have a master's program and a PhD program in pharmaceutical sciences. Uh, we also have postdocs that are here. Some of our equipment that we have, many of you will recognize the NMR, uh, which is used to analyze samples uh, for carbon, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and other uh, components. And then on the other side, we have the only machine of its kind in the United States at this uh, level, which is a, a crystallography machine. So where the NMR helps the faculty members determine the structure of a compound that's organic, uh, and chemi uh, chemistry based or carbon based, uh, this, met, this machine actually allows you to see the structure of a protein uh, so that the faculty member can identify the structure uh, of a protein. So this is one of our uh, teaching labs that's here that's used for bench uh, research. Basically they're working with uh, creation of drug products or figuring out ways uh, to uh, have the drug be used in the body and metabolized uh, throughout the body that's dealing with the pharmaceutics part. This is the second non-sterile compounding lab, but I wanted to show you it because we also have attached a sterile compounding lab. So this is a USP 797 level sterile uh, preparation room. Uh, this means it has a very high level of sterility. We could actually compound sterile products uh, for purchase in this place or for clinical trials. If you can hear that crinkling, that's because we have sticky mats on the outside and the inside to take anything off the bottom of the shoe as you go in. And directly inside is less sterile uh, because your shoes and the person would gown up and then they sit on the bench, put one booty on and move that foot to the other side, then put the other booty on so that when they touch the other side of the bench, they're in a perfectly sterile environment. The other unique features are that both ante rooms on either side, one is a prep room, the other is the actual IV compounding room, those have positive pressure, which means the pressure inside those chambers are higher than the pressure inside this middle chamber. So when the doors open up, air flows out to make sure no particulate matter floats into the room. And just as this inside chamber has higher pressure than the room that we're in right now. So what we have here is another class in session. This is our active learning classroom. And you'll notice inside that there's multiple tables where students sit in groups. This allows us to have the students work on different projects uh, during the class in an active uh, fashion. You'll notice the screens around the room uh, that uh, right now the faculty member is controlling and has its slides on so it makes it easier for the students to see. But when they're working on group projects, the faculty member can give control to, of that screen to the students at the table uh, for them to work on a project. Uh, students here at Chapman do get a free MacBook upon entry into the program as well as a free iPad and all of these screens have a um, Apple TV which allows them to connect through their MacBook rather than having to connect through a cable and then after they worked on their project the faculty member can actually project each table screen to all the other screens in the room so students don't have to go up to the front of the class in order to present they can present from their table but this is the largest active learning classroom that we know of in the United States full of technology, full of ability for, for students to work together in teams and learn in a better and a more innovative way. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our brief tour of Chapman University School of Pharmacy here at the Rinker Health Science Campus in Irvine, California. If you're interested in a longer tour and more information, we do have multiple info sessions that occur during the year, as well as two open houses during the year. You can go to our website at www.chapman.edu forward slash pharmacy for more information. Well, we really hope that you'll continue to take more looks at Chapman. We'd love to have you as part of the Chapman family. And thank you so much.